The story of Maasai Honey begins in Olawasoquan, Tanzania, a rural Maasai village on the eastern edge of the Serengeti National Park. The environment is home to a diverse array of wildlife, elephants, lions, and leopards included. Getting to Olawasoquan is a 12-hour journey from the closest city, Arusha. In these parts, weather conditions can be very extreme and drought-prone. This presents challenges for the Maasai, who are pastoralists, herding cows, goats, and sheep. The tribe is proud of their colorful ceremonies and unique traditions. Central to their culture is beadwork, which for the Maasai symbolizes beauty and wealth. They live in a boma, a structure made of cow dung and dirt. This is where women manage household tasks of collecting firewood, fetching water, cooking, and caring for children. Opportunities for these women are limited and many do not attend school. In light of these challenging circumstances, Maasai Honey aims to educate and empower these underserved women, especially those who are impoverished or widowed. Women are selected from each of the four sub-villages and trained to manage apiaries of native East African bees. Through the project, they're able to earn an income and support their families by working as beekeepers. The project first began with limited tools and very basic hives. Then over the years, it grew steadily. The team now manages over 160 commercial beehives, which are distributed across four village apiaries. Modern equipment has helped to grow the project, but nevertheless, the work requires extreme care and dedication. Hive inspections are often conducted at evening hours when the African bees are less aggressive. If weather conditions are favorable, the hard work and long hours will pay off in the form of honey. It's not just honey that comes from the hives, but also beeswax, which is used to make all natural cosmetics and candles. These products are an additional income source for the project. Ah, 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 ah,